All right, so I've um, I've been wanting to make one of these videos for a while, and uh, I tried making one, and uh, I had it rendered, and well, I didn't, I had it edited, and everything. And I just didn't like the way it was, and uh, I've recently just got a new monitor, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of like videos of people, and like there's lots of things that like I feel like very few people know in this community to do while playing Minecraft, so. I'm just gonna make a type of video. It's I guess I'm gonna title it. I'll be like, uh, how to play ranked or how how to be good at Minecraft, how to PvP. I don't know something like that. But basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to help you guys win ranked fights easier. So this is on my HQ, but it can be like applied to like any practice server. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna start off with like kits. So if you look at like my kits here, I have kit two, which is two speeds. Yeah, it's one one there, one there. This is for rank. This is for the players that play aggro and for maps like this, where you can play aggro against kids. Now, uh, if you queue the same person a couple times, depending on who it is and depending on how much of a faggot they are, they might actually sus that you only take two speeds. And then run away. This guy is really, really laggy. I can tell by his knockback and the way he plays. But yeah, that's just one thing. Is uh, I have a three-speed kit and a two-speed kit. Take the three-speed if it's a large map, like the big one with the hill, or um, take the two-speed if it's a if it's a person you know is gonna aggro on that big map. Just depends. So yeah, that that that's that's instantly giving you that's putting you into a fight with potentially one or two pots up. Now another thing is potting, right? Now I'm not the best at potting, like I, I make some mistakes here and there, but that could be contributed to my hundred MS. But there's one thing that people actually think I do wrong, which isn't actually wrong. So I'm gonna go into a situation here. I'm gonna see if I can actually do it. I right, see. Is he gonna pot? Right, he isn't gonna pot. He potted. I don't think okay, he's retarded. But actually, you can overheal in fights and still come out on top in pots just because you hit more. Or you're able to hit more because you overheal. Okay, now I'm full hearts. So he's not full. I'm just not looking. I'm going to try trade hits. Since I full healed, he's going to turn in pot and I can aggro him and get most of his pot. Cause I, that's because I overhealed. Yeah, I double splash there and. Well, I only really should have singled because I singled, then I had two hearts missing, then I, I, I singled again, so I double splashed to get full hearts where he only singled and he probably had like eight or seven hearts. I started trading hits with him, which is what happens a lot in this server, uh, and I was able to keep on like aggroing him and going closer to him and getting his pots and getting combos on him because he had to turn around a pot. Because when someone turns the pot, you hit them in the back and you make them take more knockback and get combos on them. That's one thing. It's like uh, you can you can strategically like overpot in fights. I'm gonna see if I can key someone. Yeah, maybe this guy's good. Another thing is single potting. Single potting is really good if you wanna like try steal their pots and if they are aggro as well and they pot forward. So if you single pot, you're most likely gonna be missing hearts most of the time. Yeah, he's, he he double splashed there. Single there. All right, well, that's that's not a good example, but it's just I'll try. I'll try to get a good one here, showing single pots. My guy is just trash. Also, settings like don't use too many HUDs. Like it's practice. You don't need cards or direction HUD. That helps. Less things to distract on your screen. It's gonna double splash. Yeah. Let's see. I'm up by two pots. I'm up by three now. He's low. Splash me. Um, another thing is, don't ever do that. Even like, like I, I like, there's this one person stab. He's really bad at like playing, uh, because he's really low on mass. He can get combos and trade hits and stay in chicken fights easy. So what he does is, is when he's low, he'll like, here I'll show you what he does. He does shit like that. Let's see. 
three hearts. Yeah, you miss like one or two hearts in that. Alright, he hit me over there. It's kind of hard for you to use the pot because it's so easy to hit us over pots. But yeah, also eating, like eating as much as you can, talking to the devils and talking to the chat. Eating as much as you can is really good as well. Because uh, it actually does give you a couple hearts from regenning throughout the fight. So what I'd recommend is taking carrots and trying to eat when you're down half a hunger bar because it gives more stuff. Look at this kid. Am I playing stab or something? Like this kid's stupid. He's pawed straight. Okay, I'm not gonna try I'm not gonna do any crazy combos. I'm gonna show you just from pawing, single pawing, how much I'm gonna beat this kid with. I mean I, I got I'm getting hits that are like ridiculous on him because you but trying to trade hits with this kid right now so I can show you guys oh, I was gonna yeah yeah eating I take carrots and try to eat as soon as you can because carrots give you more saturation what well, that saturation is just essentially it's invisible hunger bars like, carrots give you like 15 or something and steak gives you like 12. Yeah, see? He had 157 hits. I had, what was that? That's like five more hits, but I had three more pots. All because this kid has no idea how to pot. He has absolutely no clue on how to throw potions. Uh, yeah, so like, if you take cards, try eat early. If you, if you wait, like if you, you're, you're most likely gonna have to double eat, whereas steak will most likely have to single eat. Just depends. And just uh, just keep that in your in your mind when you're making your kit. Uh, playing aggro, I would try like play really aggro against people with higher ping, like around like a hundred, one fifty stuff like that. But um, people with low ping, you, you can still aggro them, and like if they're bad, like most of them are, um, you you can you can like beat them, but it's it's gonna be harder to aggro them as much because like. I mean, you're, you're gonna be like aggro pearling on them when they're potting, and you're not really gonna have a big a chance of hitting them off a pot as you would against someone like me with a hundred MS. Like, it's it's easier for them to play against aggro players because they just don't move. And trading hits for them as well, like they don't need to do anything to trade hits. Where like he uses if you if we're trading hits and, and our aim is off by one hit, then we're in a combo. Like, it is pretty rough. So, yeah, I don't really know. There's not much to talk about. Just don't use stupid settings. Like, don't have, like, this all the way down. Like, try stay within, like, 20 of 100 if you're using 400 DPI. Uh, yeah, mouse, mouse pad, that's definitely a big recommendation. It's definitely a big one. I mean, don't have, a, like, a... Don't use, like, the buttons on the side of your mouse. Like, I know there's this one retard that does it. Uh, that's a that's a bit of a rough word to call him, but uh, he's a very questionable person. He uses all of his side buttons on his Razer Naga to hotkey, and he's a bard. It's uh, it's just complete and utter stupid. Uh, it's just disgusting even think about that. But yeah, um, uh, if you're playing practice, also I would do this. I would turn um, where is it? I would turn toggle sneak off because if you press shift before you go in your aim. And you're, you keep holding it, you'll be sneaking when you come out, and you're just like sat there sneaking. But uh, yeah, um, I don't really know. Most of most of like Minecraft, like like all like the oh D W tap or oh like I don't know how fast do you click like it. That all just comes with like time. Like you just you get you get like comfortable with like just pressing W and letting go at certain times. Like you just get comfortable with like clicking and aiming. Like there's no really like guide or like things that I could say that would be gospel for aiming and everything like it's it's all just personal preference but stay within like a certain region because anything crazy is a bit like it puts you at a disadvantage like playing on like 2k dpi in like 20 in game like it's just this is weird 
I don't know, it's going to be impossible for you to refill fast, like, let's see. No, it doesn't matter. Here, I'll show you. These guys are my four bar. I could show you the, uh, like, So blockade, that's a big thing, I just realized. Blockade and consistent connection using eu.minehq.com if you're EU. Um, I don't really know to be honest. There's there, there's not all that much, like I mean there definitely is a skill gap in Minecraft, like it's obvious, like clicking is hard for some people, aiming is hard for some people, playing aggro is really hard for some people, but for others it's just they just they played for long enough and they're good at it. I don't know. Um watching what good people do, like I don't know. Certain things they do. Like obviously you don't want to constantly be prilling at someone like if someone's standing still and they've just refilled and they're like they're eating. If you pearl at them, you're on pearl cooldown, and they're mo they're most likely not on pearl cooldown, and they're gonna be able to hit you instantly. Like there's there's not really an advantage for pearling at someone, like when they're ready. But like say if someone turns around the pot, pearl at their back, hit them off the pot, or even pearl like to the side of them so you get a bit of their pot. Like it's it's really underrated doing that. It's ridiculously underrated, especially in, in ranked and stuff. But uh. Yeah, I, I just kind of want to make this video. I'm going to probably upload my Claire video. It's someone who went against Claire and ranked today or this. Just depends on how I'm feeling and what's, what, I don't know, just how long it takes to render and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll release, I'll put this in the description and I'll put it in the title, Snow Overlay. Like This is nice because as you've seen on the nether map, I just queued the, the laggy guy on. Everything was white and it didn't make anything look AIDS. Like, Netherrack just completely destroys your renders. It just it's disgusting. But uh yeah, there's not really much to talk about. It's, it's Minecraft, like you you it's all y'all just you know, just play, just play and you will get used to things and, and there's not there's not much like hidden secrets in this game. There's no like set strats to like win one V ones. I mean you could you could like if you knew someone carries a two speed you could kite them, but that's really niche situation. But I, uh, uh, I don't really know there's not much else to talk about, so I'm going to just leave it there. If you guys want me to go, like, I don't know, if you want me to talk about something that you know that I do, tell me. I don't really, I don't really know what else to talk about. On, like, a help PvP video, I've kind of talked about, like, everything there is, to be honest. But I, uh, peace.